It is spring here on Riverbend. The snow's finally melted, and these chickens are literally begging to get out of here. They've been in the barn situation uh, all winter, and it's time to get them outside. But first, we're gonna have to resurrect the chick shop. We've got to get some tools together. We need a saw. We need an impact. Definitely gonna need a couple batteries. We're gonna be touching up the chick shaw. It hasn't been used in a lot of years. We've got a little bit of work to do here. And of course, gathering up tools on the homestead can be a challenge sometimes. Hey, tape measure, we're gonna need that. We've got, who knows, anywhere from five to 10 projects going at one time. And um, who knows how many people working on it. We're actually doing pretty good today. Everything I've got need looks like it might be right here but we need the grinder with a metal blade. Here we go. A chick shaw, if you guys haven't seen one of these before, is just a mobile coop. And this isn't for the chickens to live in, this is just really for the chickens to sleep in and uh, to give us a place to collect eggs. So for them to lay in, so we can get them out on the property so that they're working for us besides laying eggs. And we've had this one for several years, and I haven't used it for a while, so it needs a roof, really, and it'll be ready to go. And, um, you know, I learned something along the way. Originally, we put a plastic corrugated roof on here because I wanted to make it light. Problem is, anything falls on it, anything bumps it, and that plastic breaks. And it took a little more heat through, so we're gonna put a metal roof on. I think that's gonna do a little bit better. But before I do that, I just wanna check a couple things. I wanna make sure our door is working. We've got a hatch here to let them in and out. Let's just check that out. Sticking a little, there we go, okay. Yeah, that's gonna work all right. And that's how we're gonna let them in and out of there from this end, it's pretty nice. And our doors to collect eggs. Yep, we can get in and out of here. These are working real well, so we can get in here to get to our eggs, good. So this isn't too bad. We only gotta do two things today. We gotta get a roof on it, and then we're gonna, I made these legs too long. That's hard if the ground isn't just perfect. There's not enough room there, and when I move it, it's always bumping on things. So we're gonna cut those legs maybe a few inches shorter. That's gonna make it a little easier to use. Somebody was commenting the other day, asking us a question about tidiness on the farm, and, uh, and this lady and her husband were having a discussion. She likes everything really, really tidy and doesn't like all the farm stuff. And um, he was a little more used to that. I can totally relate. I'm a guy that likes to have everything dialed in, everything in its place. I don't like junk laying around. But here's the deal, on a farm, there is so many different things, materials, tools that we use. And if we've gotta go buy something new every time, it, uh, it costs a lot of money and it takes up a lot of time. So we wanna save stuff up. We wanna have piles of what looks like junk just just for stuff like this, just for projects like this. Yeah, this has got a few holes in it, the metal does, but you know, I'm not having to go buy anything new. And this is from old projects, so we really wanna save this stuff, make good use of it. Oh, hey, eight feet, that is just what we need. We might not even have to cut these, that would be really cool. Doesn't usually go that way, does it? I don't want it to overhang too far here because then it's gonna be hard to get into the um, egg boxes. So we're not gonna do more than six inches up here. have enough pieces to length. How often does that happen? Pulling out of the junk pile. We didn't even have to cut anything. That's amazing. We'll just leave that hang over. That's a little bit of extra and it is okay. Everything does not have to look perfect on the homestead. Joel Saladin says good enough is perfect. I agree. All right. Hey, we got the roof on. That was really easy. Things don't usually go that well. We might get this done today. 
Okay, we've got to cut down the legs. And of course, I didn't bring anything to write with. I think we're gonna take four inches off. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a lot easier to move. I'm not gonna be dragging the legs around now. Perfect. No, I thought it was supposed to be a lot more work than this. The nice thing about this chick shaw is it's easy to move by hand. It's great for, you know, 30, 40 chickens. You're not gonna do 60, 70, 100 chickens in here. But 30 or 40, this is great. And it's pretty easy to get around the property. And so you can get the chickens out and get them to work where you want to. And today we're getting them in an area down here that we're gonna turn into a food forest by next spring, or at least start planning it out. Okay, I think this is pretty good to start. Let's see. Yeah, one of the ways that we wanna create some sustainability and some easy food production on our land here at Riverbend is to continue to develop food forest systems and just perennial systems that are growing food for us that aren't necessarily you know, highly taken care of or highly managed. And so this area here is, we're gonna put a little food forest in here. We've already got some natural water. We've already got you know, some uh, native trees established. And this is a great place to tuck in you know, the right trees and berries and bushes for this environment. Pretty much just leave it and set it. But you gotta have some good planning for that. And the beginning is to prep the ground and so, with the chick shaw here and bringing the chickens out, we're gonna net this up with some portable netting and leave these chickens in here all summer. And uh, they're gonna work the ground, turn it up for us, fertilize it, and then uh, we'll put a cover crop in it in the fall that's gonna precede any of our spring plantings next year to get this thing going. So next, um, we gotta get the netting up. Let's go find that. Always something to clean up around here. <laughs> Before we can get to the netting. It looks like somebody was climbing on the fence post pile. Oh dang. What do you have on every farm? <laughs> Here's some old barbed wire where somebody pushed some junk aside. We sure want to get this out of the way. And you know what? I don't want to just push it out of the way. I want to take a minute and get it out of here. Temptation is just get this out of my way for the moment, but then somebody else is going to be tripping on it. We're going to get it out of here. Okay, that will biodegrade. This is a nightmare. Wish I had some gloves, huh? got all the netting in and this area is all prepped. We've just got to get some food and water out here and get the chickens in. All right, let's go you guys, it's time. Well, we waited till evening to start moving the chickens over to the chick shaw because once the everything settles down and it gets a little darker, the chickens are starting to roost and it's a lot easier to catch them. It's always fun to do a midnight raid on the chicken coop. <laughs> When 
we first bring them out to an area like this in the Chickshaw and it's a new spot, I like to put them in at night. That way they learn where they're sleeping, they learn to settle in and get calm and then we'll come back and let them out in the morning and they'll get familiar with everything out here. Good morning. All right, you guys. Chickens have spent their first night here in the Chickshaw. We've got food and water for them, and it's time to let them out. Hey, that went really well. We got the chickens out of the barn. They're now out in the open. They've got some free space. They're happy and we've got them here in this run and they're gonna start prepping this future food forest area for us by just turning up this ground and leaving some manure for us so we can cover crop it in the fall and then hopefully next spring plant some trees and bushes here in this little area. If you guys want to know a little more about that Chickshaw and how I built it and its features, you can check out one of our older videos right here. See you soon.